Hello, happy Saturday. How's everybody doing today? Let me adjust this a little bit. If you're watching, would you please drop a comment and let me know you're there? Welcome to Chalk -A Lot One. My name's Beth Hitchcock. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And today we're going to, I realized I needed a t-shirt for tomorrow, the 4th of July. So I'm getting my shirt placed on my ink mat, but I'd save a little bit of time on the live doing that. And it's not gonna be a traditional um, patriotic transfer, um, but let me just put you down here and I'll show you what we're doing. Love this transfer. It's Hello Summer with the popsicles and we're gonna do it in red, white, and blue. So it will be patriotic in its own special way. I got this t-shirt at a thrift store for 50 cents when I was there and it's, I love the color, it's kind of like a periwinkle. So um, what we're gonna do is, and I'm going to remind myself to look up, look up, look up. I'm gonna peel our transfer off the backer sheet Always peel up and down, left to right, not diagonally. You don't want to stretch it. This is like a material. And usually I go three fingers down, but I'm going to do about um, two today. Let me find where the tag is. Oh, there's a seam there, so that will work. And let's see exactly where the middle of our transfer is. About there. That looks pretty good. So I think the L is the middle. Let's pull it down a little bit. I had a white t-shirt out here first and I thought, oh shoot, I'm not gonna be able to, the, oh good. The seam of that shirt is in the back. I think it's, I think this is stretched a tiny bit on here. Let me see my seams on the side. They look pretty good. Just gonna press the air and press my transfer down really good. These are vinyl silk screen transfers. They have a, a silk screen mesh in there. And um, so we just want it to stick really good. You don't fuzz before you use on fabric. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So um, now we can use our red, white, and blue. And we'll do a little ombre with the red, white, and blue there. And then I think we'll do, maybe we'll do summer in red. That's what we'll do. I'm gonna jazz it up, jazz up this 50 cent t-shirt. So I'm just gonna open my ink away from my project. Hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, we had some grandkids over today, so that was fun. Bill took them for a ride in the tractor. Oh, and let me tell you, always have some kind of a wet wipe. I use Clorox disinfectant wipes. You want these handy, so if you get ink on your fingers, I always do, <clears throat> you can clean it off right away. So, I think that looks pretty straight. We're just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna get my red. Start above, when you're inking, start on the green part, part of the vinyl above where the silk screen is. Let's make sure it's sealed. This is cute, it has these little confetti things um, built in, so that's gonna be cute. will show up nice with that red over top of it. I should have thought ahead of time and bought t-shirts for kids to do this on because I think this is a, I love this design. Boys or girls, doesn't matter.
Next is our white. Always make sure I'm using ink and not paste. Um, I think I'm gonna do the blue next though. I mean the, um, yeah, the blue next. We'll do this down here. I don't wanna get my sticks. I'll do those a different color. Look up. How's everybody's day going? It was a nice day. We got a few things done on my business page. And um, oh, I made strawberry rhubarb lemonade mix today. And I made it in my Instapot. It's a delicious recipe, it's very refreshing. If anybody's interested in that, let me know and I'll get you the recipe. Bonus if you have a rhubarb bush in your backyard. I'm gonna go down a little bit lower here with the red. Now I'm gonna use <clears throat> our multi-tool I got blue. Oh, I better get that off before I transfer it somewhere I don't want it. See, you gotta have those, you gotta have those wipes there. I'm gonna put in a little bit and ombre that. I did a bag something like this and I really loved how it came out. My husband calls me the bag lady. I want a little more white in here I think. That's maybe too much but I think we'll be okay. So fun, so easy. Okay. Wipe my finger off. Now we'll do those little sticks. I have Storm or we could use Silver. Would be kind of cute. It might give us a little bit of sparkle. Uh, I think I'll do Storm. didn't post I was going live today things got kind of busy so if you catch us on the replay let me know please much appreciated does anybody have plans for tomorrow we're gonna have a little barbecue um, Susie's thinking about going to the downtown parade I don't know so there's always so much traffic and it's kind of hard to find parking. So I think I'm kind of a fuddy-duddy when it comes to that. What did we say we we're gonna do that in red? Oh no, maybe we'll do it in white. This one has a little red on this side though. I'll get a different squeegee. I think white. Super fast, super easy. 
super cute. Susan loved her t-shirt. <clears throat> Life is a bowl of cherries. Loved, loved, loved it. Excess off. Make sure that's pushed through. Looks pretty good. I just want to go through through here. I think I want to get a clean squeegee and get off our excess up here. Okay, all done. Well, we'll see. Wipe my fingers off. So this will be fun because it won't be just for 4th of July. It'll be for the rest of the summer. These little sprinkles came out cute. That looks pretty cute. Perfect. Really cute. What do they call those missile pops, I think? We were just talking about ice cream trucks the other day and wondering if they're still around or not. We talked about this missile pops or rockets or sonic pops. I don't know. I think they have a bunch of different names for it. That white um, does look really good on um, this t-shirt. There we go. Just washed off my transfer in this pan of water. So you wanna just wash them off um, really quickly after you've used them. Um, get a towel here. I'll just use my fuzzing cloth to dry my hands. We close up our inks. Put my squeegees in my water over here. After I scrape off that extra, that's enough to do another glitter. The inks don't dry out like the, the chalk paste does, so that's pretty nice. If you get way down to the bottom of it, it can get a little gooey, but um, I really have, I haven't had no, I've had zero problems with inks. I'm going to wipe off my fingers again, check them, my hand, and then we'll take our ink mat out. Be careful not to fold that wet ink on itself. So just take your time while it's wet. There, loosen it up anyway. Carefully take it out. This is probably the trickiest part of inking because the ink on the mat does get on my fingers. 
I don't know if other people have that problem, but I always do. There we go. Like the, the popsicles have a little tie-dye look to them almost. Okay, there we go. I'll wipe that off when I'm done. I just use a damp board eraser and just gently wipe it off. I, I laundered this since I got it at the uh, thrift store, but I haven't, I haven't um, ironed it. So let's see if we can give this a quick little dry here. And try and heat set it. You can leave these um, like just to dry 24 hours. And then heat set it, or you can use our quick dry tool. This has been such a fun transfer. I think I started using it in April or maybe May. April or May, I don't remember, because I was so anxious for summer to get here. So if you touch it and the ink comes up, you can see it on your finger, then you need to dry it a little bit more until it doesn't do that. Just test different parts of it. A little damp there still. There we go. That was good. I think this is ready. Let me grab my towel over here. my self-healing mat, my craft mat, and then a piece of parchment paper. That now. And this is quick and easy. I'm going to go just a few more seconds on it since I'm moving it. It's not a total 30 seconds on every part of it. That's probably good. Now we'll turn this over. Let's turn our shirt inside out.
It's almost, it's 100% cotton. I was gonna say it almost feels like linen, but it stretches like cotton. Glad the Wi-Fi is holding today for us. seconds. Should do the trick. That's good. Oh, maybe I'll. Oops, I got wrinkles. I hope that didn't do anything to it. No, it's fine. I'm just gonna give this a quick press while I have that heated up. Oh, it's really gonna work or not. I rarely, rarely get my iron out anymore. How about you? just don't really iron very much. This is not really doing that great of a job though. <clears throat> go. Turned a 50 cent thrift store t-shirt into something to wear to a parade tomorrow. That's good enough. Okay, there's our shirt. I think it came out cute. Um, I will take a picture of me in it tomorrow, maybe. So, over here. So that's my quick project tonight. Boy, that was 23 minutes and we got to do something super fun. So I hope you have a great rest of your day until we talk again. Take care.